Hey everyone, welcome back again to Game 5D. In this tutorial series, I am going to teach you how you can set up the grab interactions for both of our controllers and hands. I am going to teach you the manual steps first and then we will follow up with the building blocks and see how or what the building blocks have for to set up the grab interactions really quick. I am also going to teach you how you can set up the three different types of grab interactions we have. First is the close proximity grab, second is the physics grab and third is the distance grab. We are also going to set up the visuals that will react to the grab interactions so that you would have the feedback when you are going to grab the object and when you are going to release it. So I hope you all are excited. If you do, let's begin. Alright, so we'll begin with the same project that we had set up for the Ray Interactables. We still have the Ray Interactable prefab as you could see. And inside the camera rig, let's disable the building blocks interaction interaction component of the game object. And we'll continue working on the manual interaction that we added earlier. So let's open up the OVR controllers and Search for controller grab interactor. Make sure you search for interactor and not interactable. Let's drag and drop the controller grab interactor on each of the left and right controller to make them a child of them. Similar to how we added the interactors. All right, let's confirm that each of the interactor that we added auto reference to the respective controllers. If not, then you might you may have to add them manually. Alright, so before you do anything, let's look at the controller interactors game object that we have, which contains a paste hover interactor group, which requires a list of interactors. So let's make use of it as we have two interactors in our uh, for each of the hand. So what I normally do is I make the interactors a child of the group interactors. I will have a little bit of cleaner hierarchy. We just have to drag and drop each of the interactor into the list so that will automatically disable the interactor that is not being used at that particular point but it will still keep both of them enabled all right let's take a closer look at the graph interactor script so the script consists of few uh, properties the first one you have to look is the selector the selector defines or allows you to define which button on the controller we would like to use to grab something. So similar to the Raycast uh, selector, controller selector. The next thing that you would see is an rigid body game object. And this game object contains this controller offset script. So in case you need to adjust how far from the controller you want the grab to happen, you can adjust that from here, the offset and rotation. Optionally, you can provide a secondary transform to use that as an offset instead of manually uh, setting in the values. And then you would see in Spear Collider, which is the area that, that is defined to have the interactions in. So anything within that area, uh, the interactable can trigger, the interactor can uh, trigger that interactable to grab. And the final thing that is needed is the digit body and it, it has to be kinematic. Make sure you always uh, do uh, keep a check on that. So interactor needs to have the digit body set to kinematic. And then uh, we have the visuals. So in case you want to debug, if a control controller is grabbing or not so you can enable this particular game object which comes by default disabled and then we have some optional values that we will see in a moment all right let's bring up the interactable to interact with uh, make sure you search for grab interactor so uh, and search for in packages and you should see something called as grab interactor prefab and it should be in the same uh, folder as of the grab interactor drag and drop to the uh, scene view let me just quickly readjust it all right let's take a closer look at the script it has which is called a grab interactable and in this script you would see the first two settings is uh, to define how many interactors or interactions you want to allow the next thing that you would see is a pointable element. So normally it is optional, but you can, if you have a transformable or a grabable component, you can drag and drop it in there. Then it requires a rigid body. And let's drag and drop a rigid body on it. 
make sure the rigid body is set to kinematic uh, i mean that is a requirement for grab normal grab interactor i mean non fixed grab interactor then you have something called use close point as the grab source that's that means it will pick up whatever the closest point or vertices on the mesh to be the grab point when you grab it and uh, other than that there are few optional settings that we'll take a closer look at in a moment next come to this grabable script so if you have ever used grab interactions before you know that this particular script is the replacement of transformable uh, component that we had so all the properties uh, of the grabable script is exactly the same as of the transformable uh, on the next thing that we would see as a child object is the box collider so this is the collider that defines the area we can interact with inside this interactable so depend depending on the use case you may want to have this collider a little bit flush or like a little bit uh, lenient to have some space to interact with if it's a very small object you want to pick up uh, the last thing that we have is this interactable debug visual which requires a pointable element so we'll drag and drop it here and based on the interactions it will change the material color on it all right so behind the scenes i did little bit uh, of tweaking to the interactable that we had so i updated the material to use a default texture we had from the samples project and it uses this particular texture and i also updated uh, to have a canvas to let us know which interactable it is because we are going to have multiple interactables in the scene As you could see, we still have the ray interactors working as it is, uh, as usual, since we are not uh, grabbing anything. But uh, I cannot grab it using the ray interactions for sure. But one more thing I wanted to show you is that as soon as I go ahead and try to grab the interactable, you could see the ray interactions is being disabled by the based hover interactor group. And as you could see, we can I can indeed grab the interactable by touching it with the controller and using the grip button to hold and grab and move, move it around. And since it's a kinematic rigid body, it won't move uh, if I leave it. So it will stay at the place where I leave it after grabbing it. All right, so we got our grab interactable working. Now let's move on to adding to the hand grab interactables. All right, let's enable the OVR hands. Uh, we had it disabled in the previous video. And make sure to expand the left and right hand. As you could see, we already have the hand interactor from the previous videos. Uh, let's search for hand grab interactor from the project view. I already have it opened. If you don't have, make sure you go to the Meta Interaction SDK hand grab folder. And from there onwards, drag and drop the hand grab interactor for, on both of the hands. Double check that the re uh, reference to the controller or the hand ref is correct for each of the interactors. Now let's quickly set up the interactive group. Awesome. Now let's take a closer look at the hand grab interactor script. The first thing you'd notice is a hand reference that sits on the same game object so if you don't have it already set up make sure you drag and drop the same hand reference into that particular field uh, the next thing that it requires to work with is a rigid body and it is required for each of the interactors to have a rigid body and make sure it's kinematic as well uh, the third thing is the grab api so as the name, the name uh, suggests so this api helps recognizing the grab gestures then we have a filter uh, to specify what grab gestures we want to listen to you can select either one of them or all of them uh, this setting hover on zero strength will allow you to send an hover event on an interactable even if you are not doing the pinch gesture on it so it is desirable sometimes if you want you can enable the check from here uh, the last thing that i want to show you is the grab origin so this grab origin uh, points to the uh, a game object that sits on the wrist of your palm okay then we, uh, we have a few of the visuals so you can enable it to see when the grab is happening on the hand all right 
let's begin adding a hand grab interact table for our hand grab interactor to work with uh, so let's search for hand grab interact table in the search field and if you click on it and clear the search field you would see that this indeed exists in the same hand grab interactor folder under of meta xr integration sdk let's drag and drop it into the scene and the first thing that you will notice and i also have noticed in this new api is that the hand grab interactable has not been set up with anything other than two scripts so it has a hand grab interactable and it hasn't moved towards target provider script but it doesn't have any visuals or colliders or rigid body unlike the grab interactor or grab interactable we pulled out of the project i'm not sure if it is intentional by meta or it is something that they missed to add but this is what you get out of the box uh, so let's add the required scripts first of all we need to have a grabable script and again i'm repeating the same thing if you haven't watched the previous video is that this is the transformable script which has been renamed to grabable in this uh, new api or new sdk let's drag and drop the grabable we all will also need an rigid body for our interactable let's add the rigid body okay once that's added uh, let's also add a collider to our interactable uh, I'll, I'll just copy paste the collider values from the grab interactor that i had because i'm going to use the same uh, visuals for the hand grab interactable to work with let me also copy the visuals and paste it as a child all right so once set uh, let's take a closer look at the hand grab interactable script so we already added the grabable and the rigid body you also have the max interactors and selecting interactors for you to set uh, next thing you will see is the list of supported grab types uh, you can mention what grab types will affect or allow this interactable to be grabbed with you can either select all or uh, either of them so everything and all is same so it will select both of them and next next we have the uh, set of rules which is again surprising to me in this grab interactable uh, is that the pinch grab rules is set to optional all of them is set to optional and unlike the palm grab rules which has set the index middle and ring finger to be required i mean if you close all the three you make a palm or you make a grip and uh, for pinch it it has set the thumb index and middle finger to be optional which doesn't work if it's set to optional so make sure you set them to be required so you can set all three to required for me i'll set just uh, the thumb and index finger to its, its pinch and then you have the release rules to uh, a release event to be fired when every finger is released uh, third thing is the align hand alignment so this is required for the poses of hand so i'll set it to none since i don't have any poses uh, defined and the next list is where you define the hand poses so if you have not used grab pose previously so meta allows you to set grab poses by setting your hand near to how you want to look near to the uh, near to the object for example if you want your hand to hold this object from this corner or from this corner and you want the hand to align to that particular cor corner when you grab you can just do that and record and that will add it to the list of in, uh, hand poses that you see on top i cannot do it because i'm on a mac but if you have oculus quest link on pc you can do it all right like next uh let's make the rigid body kinematic i'll just copy again the same values from the grab interactable although it's the same same, same single check but it also uh yeah it will also reset all the values if i had anything uh, set up by mistake all right so we now have a hand grab interactable to work with the last thing i will do is i will uh, update the visuals to follow the hand grab interactor interactable and not the grab interactable because since i copied it from the grab interactor i had to reset that all right let's test out uh in quest after building it all 
all right let's test our hand inter interactable okay clearly i cannot grab the controller interactable but you can see the hand in grab interactable is reacting or having the hover event i can grab it using my left index uh, and thumb using the pin gesture i can do the same on the right hand also if i want to show you the uh, rules that we set that if i try to grab or pinch using my middle and thumb finger it doesn't work but the palm gesture that we added with the palm rules to have all the three uh, fingers needs to be closed so indeed we can grab it all right so the current interactables that we have in our uh, particular app are non physics based even though they have rigid body but they are all kinematic so they they might be desirable sometimes but most of the times you will have to have some sort of interactables that can react to physics and collisions so let's see how we can set them up before that let me move the non physics one into the respective game object so i'll create a non physics game object inside of interact interactables and move the non physics ones into that i also duplicated the same interactables because we are going to add uh, the physics on top of that so for that let me also rename them to physics and move them into a physics game object inside of interactables all right so once that's done uh, let's take a closer look at what we need to do to make them physics grabbable all right similar to the grabbable script we have something called physics grabbable which was again renamed from physics transformable if you don't if you haven't guessed it till now so i'll just move it up near to the grabbable script and it doesn't have the same settings as a grabbable because it uses the grabbable as you can see there's a reference to grabbable script as well as a rigid body uh, also there's a checkbox that i would normally say that leave it by default so what this allow you to do is that when we are going to use transformers or transforms to move the uh, grabbable around we can also scale them so that particular check will allow you, allow us to move also scale the mass uh, of the game object in the rigid body all right let's also make sure that to, uh, make the rigid body use gravity and it's not kinematic so to remember that the next thing we have to do is to in the grab interactable uh, under the options drag and drop the physics grabable in the physics grabable uh, reference that will allow the grab interactable to react to physics more uh, promptly rather than using the rigid body himself itself let's do the same for the hand interactable make sure to add the physics uh, grabable onto the hand grab interactable as well awesome so now we have set up our interactable to use a uh, physics and we will the last thing we need to do is to update the debug text to say physics so that we would know what interactables are physics based and non physics awesome now let's let's test this out in the build All right, so we got our interactables and physics interact interactables in front of us, and let's see how they react to the grab. So first of all, the static interactables or the non-physics interactables, you can see they still stay at the same place where I lit them, but the physics grabable are indeed dropping off as I'm leaving it after grabbing them. So I can move them onto the top, I can move them or leave them at the bottom. Let's see how the hand interactables are reacting to physics. Same thing, the grab interactable stays where i live but the which is grabable indeed is dropping down when i'm leaving them on top so you can see i can drop it and it's dropping down but i can grab the uh, but it also reacting to the physics as i said it will react to the collisions but not the static ones one thing that we notice that even though they are reacting to physics i cannot throw them or i cannot flick them around so i can just move them and drop them but if i see that if i'm moving them or flicking them upward it's not reacting not even to the throw so let's see how we can do that all right as the video is getting long i thought it's better to discuss the next set of grab interactions on the on, on another part so i'll see you there thank you for watching